welcome to another episode of Car Addiction. Today I'm going to show you how to do an all-wheel drive vehicle maintenance. So my Hyundai Santa Fe, it's reaching uh, a little, little over 160,000 kilometers and I decided, you know what, this is the right amount of time that uh, you should be doing your all-wheel drive maintenance. Let's say the rear, uh, the rear differential, if you have a um, Let's say the rear differential if you have a transfer box your transmission and also while you're doing all of that you should also get an oil change and if we have time we'll get some new coolant uh stay tuned um, i'm at chris at chris auto and it's really cold minus 23 with the wind chill outside so hey everybody i will be giving away the car addiction window stickers to one lucky subscriber every month so please hit the subscribe button right away redline is a full synthetic gear oil Redline is a full synthetic gear oil and they are very popular in the motorsports industry and they are one of the top of the line are very high quality products out there. Uh, Luke from 13 Motorsports hooked me up with these and uh, at a really really good price actually his price was better than Amazon so uh, thank you Luke. Now here's the funny part if you see the size of this differential it's a tiny weeny one all right, Hyundai said it needs two full quarts. How the hell two quarts is gonna fit in there? I highly doubt it's gonna take more than a quart, so we're gonna see. All right, so on the Santa Fe, here's the uh, drain stick, and here's the filled hole. You're gonna have to use a fluid transfer pump and fill it through here, and fill it until the fluid comes off. And this bolt, this bolt, both of these bolts are 24 mil bolts, so, uh, Use a 24 mil wrench here and a socket here. So the color of the oil is not that bad actually. I'm pretty happy to see this color. It's supposed to be dark and black, which is neither. It's pretty consistently clear. The magnet did its job. There's uh, quite a bit of uh, shavings here, so I'm going to clean it up and put it back. Here's one quart and that's all we needed. There's still oil left in there, there's probably this much oil left in there. So it's not even a quart and the Hyundai, and the Hyundai uh, technical department or the parts department told me this little, this little differential takes two quarts. That's just ridiculous. According to the Hyundai service manual, to do this job, you need four and a half quarts of transmission oil. And I went with the Hyundai SP4-M transmission fluid because that came from the factory. In my experience, using aftermarket transmission fluid, sometimes it made the transmission slip. So I just went with the Hyundai and actually price was there pretty good. It was $115 for five quarts that includes taxes. While I'm doing all of that, I will also get an oil change done. Um, the vehicle actually takes 530, but I had a 520 lying around and it's super cold in Canada. So I decided to go with a 520 and let's see how that goes. And for oil, and whenever I do an oil change, I always change the filter. And I decided to go with the Denso 150 2043 filter. Um, Actually, the reason I'm going with Denso is because uh, at Rock Auto they had a sale and uh, I bought about 15 filters for $4 each, so can't go wrong with that. First off, our fancy Matt is going to take right, this are shield you off. Videoing? Yes. You're not allowed to be on my Was that a 19 or 24? 24 mil socket and that's where the, the tranny that's where the transmission drain is right here is the differential the differential drain differential fill and that's pretty much it I don't think it will take more than one quart that's where my itty bitty Magna flow. So 
So both of these bolts huh? takes a 24 mil socket. They have been drained and now it's time to be filled. That is not the fill plug. Yes, it is. Oh, it's in the top. It's, that's the fucking top. The overflow it fills up to there. Comes out. Fork it. Drive it. Run it until it gets hot. Open that. Nothing should come out. Fill it again. Uh, hold on. Say it again. That is the level fill. You fill up to here. It comes out. Yeah. You cork it. Drive. Get it hot. Yeah. The running temperature. It will go under or whatever, and then when you undo this again, it, nothing will come out. Yeah, and, and then you, you fill it up. You have to top it up some more because it'll you top it up to there to begin with, and then you fucking go through the gears and all that shit, and then you have to fill it up again till it comes out. And you're done. Huh. So we plugged in the auto Maxis system. We're gonna monitor the oil temperature uh, from 24 to at least 45 or 50 degrees and then we're gonna check the level again and refill.